The uh, group I'm working with is actually a group of struggling readers who were invited to participate in after-school tutoring. Um, I decided to use the uh, reciprocal teaching method with them because normally they would be getting this in whole group in their classroom, but they don't often get the scaffolding that they need from their teacher. Well, they don't always because I can help them be more one-on-one with them as I guide them through it. And today we're going to see who gets to go first and be our leader. First is Kiana. Okay, Kiana. Now remember, let's go over our strategies first. Kiana is going to read. And while she's reading, what are you guys going to be doing? Tracking. You're going to be tracking with what? Remember I told you why that works? Because she's using her voice and her eyes and you're using your finger, so that adds one more of your senses to it. So that helps you remember it and also stay up with what she's doing because remember, she's going to be asking you guys questions when you're done, when she's done, so you need to be paying attention so you can answer her questions because she's going to try to get some of those below-the-surface questions, aren't you, Kiana? You're going to have a teacher-like question. Okay, the first thing she's going to do, let's review this, is we've, we've predicted what the book is going to be about. So we know we're going to learn about whales. The first thing she's going to do is what? Ask questions. Ask a question, and she's going to try to get to the main idea, but she's going to ask a, you can start with what words? Who, what, when, where, why, or how. And then she's going to clarify any word you don't know or any thought or idea in there that you don't understand. And then she's going to what? What's the next thing? Summarize. Summarize. Tell us the... Take all everything down to the one or two sentences that tell us what we just read. And then she's going to predict what she thinks is going to happen next. And then we're going to draw somebody else's name. Okay, and we'll go just like we do it every day. We've been working on this since October, so they've just gotten to where they have all the strategies down and they can go through step by step and do every strategy. We started out, of course, by learning one step at a time. We worked on questioning for a while, then we worked on clarifying, then we did questioning, clarifying, added summarizing. Uh, and predicting until now they can bring it all together and do it. All right, go ahead, Kiana. Let me see everybody ready. Okay. The great whales are the world's giant animals. This humpback whale is breaching, jumping almost clear out of the water, the crashing down, then crashing down in a huge spray of foam. The humpback whale is longer than a big bus and a heavier than, than a tra- trailer truck. Some great whales are even larger. Just the tongue of a blue whale weighs as much as an elephant. Whoa! That's some neat stuff right there. We, we got a few things answered that we were wondering about. Um, okay, think, I'm going to let you think for just a minute about a really good question you can ask Kiana. Remember, who, what, um, when, when, Why do you think they use bus and heavier in the suits? Okay, why would they use bus and heavier when they were describing the whale? Somebody, who are you going to call on to answer that question? Thomas. Mm, maybe because... Mm. Do you know what a bus is? Mm-hmm. Okay, so how does that, re- comparing it to that, how does it help you think about a whale? They real big. Okay. So that was prob- that was a good question, Kiana. So you had to think about that a little bit, didn't you? Okay, good. Um, was that a right there question? Was that above the surface question or was that kind of a below the surface question? Below. Below the surface because it didn't exactly tell you did it and you had to think about it. Okay, um, how about the next step? Was there anything in there that you needed to clarify? Breach. Breaching. Did anybody else have that word? Okay, why don't you write that down on, on number one for your words to clarify and be thinking about what how we can figure out what that word means. Okay. This, okay, um, Kiana, why don't you ask them about that? What they th- have you got an idea what it means? Um, code. 
Okay, the well is, let's try it. Remember that one thing we can do when we're clarifying a word? We can substitute it as a synonym. You said the word coming. See if that makes sense in this sentence. Maybe? Coming? Okay, look at the picture of that well. They're talking about this one right here. I think I need Okay, ask Thomas. He thinks he knows. What do you think, Thomas? I think it means like jumping or springing out of the water. Jumping or springing out of the water? That sounds good. What do you think, Nora? I think it's about like to uh, flip around. Maybe come up and flip around. Um, do you see this little hyphen between the two words? Whale is breaching, dash. Read this rest of the sentence that's coming out of there. Kiana, read the rest of that for me. It says, the whale is breaching. It has a dash there or a hyphen, then read that sentence. Jumping almost clear out of the water and then crashing down in a huge spread Do you think that might be the definition for breaching? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It says, the whale is breaching. You know, sometimes when you have a comma following a word, remember I've told you that that is a clue that they're about to give you the, sometimes they're about to give you the definition of a word. So this, this hyphen is working the same way. It says jumping, uh, the, this hump, that whale is breaching, jumping almost clear out of the water. Have you ever heard the word breaching used any other way? Mm-hmm. No. Nope. So we weren't, we weren't really able to mine our memory about that word, but we were able to use the words in context, the words right there on the page to help us figure it out. Okay, um, anything else in that uh, paragraph that you felt like needed to be clarified, um, Kiana? No. Anybody else have any other, any other words? Okay, and what's our next step? Okay, now remember, what are we going to do when we summarize? Yeah. Keep it short, keep it short, and stick to the point. So what do you think the most important thing was for us to know in that paragraph did it tell us about whales it taught us how whales come out of the water and it described them it described how what how they look how they look and that was what Um, well not in detail but that they were very what very huge very good word okay they were very huge I like that little bit of information about the tongue of the blue whale. How much was it, Thomas? I don't know, but I think it weighs as much as, as a, an, elephant. an elephant. Imagine having an elephant in your mouth. That was really big. Yes, ma'am? Can I ask a question? Um, how much do you think that the um, tongue weighed? How much did the tongue weigh? Is that okay? That would be a right there question, wouldn't it? And it, we don't know, so you're saying the exact weight or just that the question no. would be as like, big as an elephant? No, like how much did the, the elephant, uh, for about how much did the elephant um, weigh it? Okay, an elephant would weigh, I'm not even sure. Anybody have an idea about how much an elephant weighs? Maybe two tons or three tons? I'm not sure. But anyway, it's big, isn't it? That was a good way to compare it. We know they're like bigger than a school bus and the tongue the size of an elephant. So um, are whales tiny little guys or? Big. 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 Okay. That just helped you set that. Okay, good job. <coughs> Excuse me. Kiana, what do you think, what do you predict that we're going to read about next? How they live. Maybe how they live. Okay, we'll see. Let's see who's next. Good job, Kiana. Well, as you can see, I'm, I'm totally hooked on uh, reciprocal teaching because I've just seen it work. It's, it's, there's a, it's kind of a no-fail method to me because when a kid can read this, ask questions, clarify and summarize, they know it. When they're done, they understand what they've read, and that's the bottom line. These kids have got to comprehend what they're reading, and these four strategies do it.